tuning in with us. We give you the praise and glory, God, for there is none like you in the matchless name of Jesus. My name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. We welcome we. We welcome you in Jesus' name. Glory to God. This is our 3 p.m. Hallelujah. Time to praise the Lord. For he is so worthy. He's so worthy to be praised. We give him the praise and glory for everything that God has done and what he's doing in our lives today. And we just give him the praise. Because there's none like him in the matchless name of Jesus. There is none like him hallelujah and we give him the praise there's a song that's in my spirit it's only simply called in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we have the victory in the name of jesus in the name of jesus satan you have to flee Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name, the name of Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Hallelujah. We have the victory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It was all in my spirit for me to share that with my brothers and sisters. Again, I would like to thank you for tuning in to the Hewitt channel. Hallelujah. My name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. Hallelujah. We're going to dive into the word today. Hallelujah. But before then, we're going to go before God. Most gracious Father, we thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus, for this day. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for you keeping us all day long, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your divine protection protecting me protecting us from seen and unseen danger if they travel on the busy highway father god have your angels encamped around cover our children up under the blood of jesus cover our grandchildren our family and loved ones father god but most of all we thank you lord jesus for souls to be one this day lord in the name of jesus and father god we just thank you for every blessing you have for us this day we know you father god as jehovah rapha you're the god that heals father god i decree father god healing to take place to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. Father God, your word said you sent the word and healed them. And Father God, we thank you for healing taking place right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. For truly, you said by Jesus' stripes we're already healed. And Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for the healing virtue this day. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We welcome you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Our ministry is MCN Ministry. We're truly our ministry. We are a ministry that's on the move. We just came back from Africa. Hallelujah. And we're planning to go back and we're going to wherever the Lord sends us. And if you want to seed into this ministry, please visit our webpage at www.brianhewitt.com. Or you can send us a testimony or a prayer request. We would love to pray with you because the Bible says pray without ceasing. And the Bible also says pray ye for one another. And we are praying for you. We love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you. This time, this afternoon, we're going into the Beatitudes. Yesterday, we talked about the first Beatitude. We talked about for the poor in spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For there's the kingdom of heaven. Now we're going to go to the second one today. We're going to talk about, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. That's found in Matthew 5 and 4. Please get, a, get, please get your Bible, get a pen and a piece of paper, and write down these beautiful scriptures, because I would love for you to read them at your leisure, for it's truly important that you read the Word of God. It's nothing like the spoken word word of God. Hallelujah. So we're going to go into this and we're talking about blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. Mourning you would think of someone that's weeping. You think of someone that has that has lost a loved one because we all been there that we all been to funerals that our loved ones have passed away. And yes, we have mourned. There is a brokenness. But in but in this scripture, it's talking about a brokenness in sin. Whenever that you are godly sorry, hallelujah, that I am mourning for my sin, hallelujah. And, and where that we must be broken. You know, even though that 
we may say or I've heard people say the sin is fun and it may last for a minute but your spirit man is saying no 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 you should have done this and, and you should have done better and you know that you know the Word of God and so your spirit man is broken so therefore we're talking about blessed are they that are mourned for they shall be comforted and in this lesson, in uh, Matthew 5 and 4, the word mourn is translated in the Greek word is, is pentheo, which means to grieve, means to feel or act of feeling, mourning, bewailed, hallelujah. And then it's a sacrifice that God has to broke, a, a broken heart and a contrite spirit will no, will no wise cast out. So therefore, when we are godly sorry, we are broken. And so when we're broken that we are mourning, we're not mourning because I got caught. I'm not mourning because, of, you know, something didn't go right. I'm mourning because, God, I am godly sorry. Hallelujah. So my spirit man is broken. See, so what I just quoted that scripture came from, Psalms 51 14 and this verse promised the people that uh, you even though that you're going to go through hallelujah but you know that that God will never leave you see God said a broken a broken spirit and a contrite heart will I no wise cast out so therefore we must understand that hallelujah when I come to God hallelujah I'm weeping Lord Jesus I want to get it right God I'm godly sorry whatever you do father God don't take your Holy Spirit from me but what I love about about this beatitude is letting you know that after you mourn that you're going to be comforted hallelujah meaning that I'm just not coming to you Lord and hallelujah that uh, you're not going to do anything we serve a God who is moved by our emotions hallelujah and our feelings from our heart he's moved when we cry hallelujah the Bible says that he catches every tear hallelujah he wipes away every tear hallelujah we serve a God who doesn't slumber nor sleep meaning that we serve a God who never gets tired who never gets weary so whenever we come before God hallelujah he's always there and hallelujah Hallelujah, you know that, hallelujah, you will be comforted because that's the word of God says. And the word comfort, comforted in Matthew 5 and 4 comes from the Greek word. It's called pinakio, which means that to be called near, to invite, to invoke, hallelujah, be sought, be called for, hallelujah, a good comfort, hallelujah, a desire to give exhortation entice through prayer hallelujah so therefore hallelujah when we're being comforted hallelujah that God says that hallelujah that he is inviting us hallelujah he's inviting us to come to him hallelujah because when he calls us whenever we're crying hallelujah we're godly sorry we're asking God to come into our lives Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's beautiful to be called by someone that might be a movie star and where that, you know, we may get excited. But isn't it great to know that, hallelujah, the comfort, when he says that you shall be comfort, the spirit, the word of God talks about the spirit of God. You're going to be comforted by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. That there are some scriptures I want to give you talking about the comforter. But I want to talk about first, hallelujah, give you some scriptures about mourning. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, which uh, we just read in Psalms 51 and 7, 17, but also hallelujah that we must realize that we're living in trying times we're living in the last days and i want you to read second timothy 3 and 1 it says know this also that the last days we're living in perilous times and it shall come to pass that men be lovers of their own selves covetous brokenness um uh, proud boasters you know disobedient to children unthankful unholy and it goes on but my god we're living in the last days so therefore that when we find ourselves in that hallelujah we need to stop drop and roll we stop hallelujah from where we are drop to our knees and roll our lives over to jesus hallelujah that's what we need to do because it's so important hallelujah that we need to stop drop and roll hallelujah and then also in second corinthians 7 and 10 it says for for a godly sorry worketh repentance to salvation not to be repented 
for, but, but, but of the sorrow of the world worketh death. Because the Bible says the wedges of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So I'm godly sorry. And when I'm godly sorry that, that, that you will mourn, you will weep. Hallelujah. That you will weep. But hallelujah. The word of God says weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. We may weep. Hallelujah. We may find ourselves in situations that we never said that God, I'll never get here. And Lord, I say, God, how did I get here? But hallelujah, but God, hallelujah, can save us and bring us up and out of whatever situation that we find ourselves in. Hallelujah, that there is no place that God cannot reach, that there is no sin, hallelujah, that God will not forgive you for. Hallelujah, but we just have to stop, drop, and roll. Hallelujah, stop, hallelujah, from where I am. Hallelujah, drop to my knees and say, God, please wash me whiter than snow. Again, that we talked about pray in the scriptures and hallelujah the bible says even though my sins may be as crimson hallelujah mean that it may be as red as scarlet but hallelujah the word of god has a way of washing us whiter than snow hallelujah glory to god thank you jesus that one day hallelujah that we all came to the lord and we said father god forgive me hallelujah i'm godly sorry hallelujah i'm not crying because i got caught i'm not crying because i've got busted i'm crying god lord jesus because i want to be right in your own sight lord i desire you in the inward parts hallelujah like like a king david said lord i desire you in the inward parts hallelujah lord whatever you do don't take your holy spirit from me god hallelujah i found myself in life circumstances where i might have been somewhere where i wasn't supposed to be last night or just some just a few minutes ago but hallelujah now that i hear the word of god hallelujah i'm going to turn my life over to you god because lord i need you i can't do it without you lord hallelujah and because of that hallelujah that we turn our lives over to god so he says blessed are they that mourn and we understood that blessed means fortunate hallelujah that we are mourning hallelujah because the bible says that not everyone is going to be saved god said my spirit won't strive with man always thank god that you have the right sense for you to mourn hallelujah lord jesus i'm mourning over my sin hallelujah god lord jesus forgive me for it hallelujah i don't want to be lost Hallelujah. But he says, but the promise is that you shall be comforted. Hallelujah. What I love about God, wherever we find ourselves, God always gives us a solution on a way how to come up and out. He never leaves us in the situation. Hallelujah. Even in the word of God, it says that God had brought me up out of darkness into the marvelous light. Hallelujah. Yes, we all were in darkness, but God did not leave us there. Thank God. Hallelujah. We all have a but God ministry ministry just when I was down to my last but God stepped in just when I didn't think that I could make it but God I was going down for the last time but God reached out and reached and pulled me up and up up and out of the dirt and and darkness and set me upon a rock hallelujah lord jesus and he says the gates of hell shall not prevail against us hallelujah and we're on a sure foundation our sure foundation is nothing but christ jesus glory to god hallelujah hallelujah so we love hallelujah blessed are they that mourn they who mourn hallelujah that we're mourning today but joy cometh in the morning the problem is that we don't know how long our how long our days are. Hallelujah. We may mourn for a couple of days, but the promise is that hallelujah, you will have joy. Hallelujah. And I decree mourning today. I decree mourning whatever you are from the north to the south to the east to the west. Hallelujah. Today is morning. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we need to get it right. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that we shall be comforted. Hallelujah. So the comforter is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I need you to come into my life and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because I need it. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I need. Hallelujah. The Bible says, according to Acts 2.38, he says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is a holy is a spirit that will lead and guide you to all truth. The Bible says the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead is going to raise up our mortal bodies on that great and wonderful day. Hallelujah. So therefore, we must have the spirit of the Lord. The Bible says without his spirit, we're none of his. Hallelujah. And we are children of God. And because we're children of God, we desire, hallelujah, to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Because he says, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power, not physical power, but spiritual power to resist temptation. You'll stand on the devil's neck. You can bind him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says you can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Hallelujah. That's the power. Hallelujah. So therefore, when we talk about we shall be comforted. Hallelujah. We're going to be comforted by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And God said that, hallelujah, I'm going to, I'm going to comfort you. I'm not going to leave you. Hallelujah. Again, where that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's found in Psalms 30 and 5. Hallelujah. Also in Luke 6, 21 through 25, it says, Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Woe unto you who laugh now, for ye shall mourn later. In other words, it's that hallelujah, that we will weep. Hallelujah. Weeping. We, we may cry now, but God's going to give us that joy. But those that are mocking God's people, those who are just laughing at them, hallelujah, that they will have their day before Christ. Hallelujah. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about the haters, because there always will be someone who will not like what you're doing. Hallelujah. People are not going to like that God is blessing you, but that's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here to bless God. I'm here to magnify God for truly that the joy of the Lord is my strength. And hallelujah, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The joy that I have is from Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So therefore, we shall be comforted. And hallelujah, the comforter, which we know is the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. So I would love for you to turn with me to the book of John. John 14 and 16, the word of God says, and I will pray that the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. In other words, that he's saying that I may give you, hallelujah, the comforter. I'm praying that you receive the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, that he will abide forever, meaning that he will live forever within us. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus, I love you, hallelujah. Lord, I desire you to dwell in me, and hallelujah, never leave me, because Lord, you said you'll never leave me nor forsake me. Hallelujah, and Lord Jesus, he isn't it amazing that God said he won't leave us, but we leave him? Hallelujah. But whenever that we find ourselves going astray, God brings us right back. We just have to repent and be godly sorry. Hallelujah. God just wants us to be godly sorry. And God looks at our heart. He doesn't look at the words we say, but he looks at our heart. According to John 14, 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in whose name? In my name. Hallelujah. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So important. It is so important for us to eat the word of God. Read the word of God and apply it to our lives because hallelujah, even though we may not understand the word right at that right at this moment, but guess what? God said, I'll bring it back to your remembrance, whatsoever I've told you. So God said he will lead and guide us to all truth. Hallelujah. And the truth is the word of God. Hallelujah. That he will teach you all things. Hallelujah. And the all things that Lord I desire more of you. And God said, I'll give you the desires of your heart. Hallelujah. If you desire more of Jesus, God said, I'll give you more of myself. But we have to read and study and rightly divide the word of truth. Hallelujah. Because we need the word of God. So the word of God is the only thing that's going to keep us. Hallelujah. And in the book of John, we're still in John. Turn with me to 1526. It says, but when the, but when the comforter is come, whom I will send upon you in 
from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. In other words, when we have his Spirit, hallelujah, we know that we are testifying of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Again, that I may not be able to quote Genesis to Revelation, but I can tell you what the Lord has done for me in my life. Hallelujah. I can testify about the goodness of God. Hallelujah. And Lord Jesus, hallelujah. When you have his Spirit, you have holy boldness. You get to stand. You won't be disobedient. But what I'm saying is that you will not you, that you will not compromise. You will stand flat-footed and say, "Yes, I believe in Jesus. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of, of Jesus Christ." Hallelujah! Because I'm not ashamed. That's a holy boldness. Hallelujah! Holy boldness means that wherever you are, that you will go and tell someone about the goodness of God. Hallelujah! In John 16 and 7, it says, "Nevertheless, I tell you the truth that it is expedient for you that you go." that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send I will send him unto you. In other words, Jesus was telling his disciples and said, I got to go. I got to go to the Father, but I'm not going to leave you without help. I'm not going to leave you. Hallelujah. God said, hallelujah, we are never without help. So therefore, the help that we have is all in Christ Jesus. All of my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I look unto the hills from which cometh my help. Hallelujah. My help cometh from the Lord. Hallelujah. And because I know this, hallelujah because the word of God said he's a God that gives us truth hallelujah his word is true and because his word is true we're standing on his word today hallelujah we're not doubting his word we're standing and saying, Lord I trust you I glorify you Lord hallelujah so therefore hallelujah this beatitude is an attitude of what we shall be in as Christians hallelujah that I'm godly sorry for whatever sin I make but hallelujah don't you know that God said I'm but but you shall be comforted blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted hallelujah and I'm comforted today hallelujah I may have been in a wrong place today but God I want to get it right today Lord I may have gone astray I may have got caught up in life circumstances I might have just turned my back against God and just said God I don't know if I could do it Lord Jesus what is it all about but God hallelujah I thank God for you tuning in to the huge channel for you to hear the word of God today hallelujah saints of the most high God hang in there even though you may be weeping right now but God's going to give you joy hallelujah you may be weeping right now but you're not alone hallelujah you're not in this thing by yourself hallelujah hallelujah God loves you with an undying love and if you have not heard it today God loves you Hallelujah. And we love you. Pastor Brian and myself, we love you with the love of the Lord. Because, hallelujah, we are reaching. Hallelujah. Each one reach one. Hallelujah. Each one teach one. We're teaching the word of God today. Hallelujah. We're reaching out to the four corners of the earth. Whosoever hears this word, hallelujah, that hallelujah, that you will be strengthened. Because the words that I speak are not me, but it's the Lord's. Hallelujah. And God's word is powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Hallelujah. So when we preach God's word, when we pray God's word, hallelujah, we're coming into agreements with what God says. Hallelujah. So blessed are they that mourn for you shall be comforted. You are going to be comforted. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, from the four winds of the earth. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, comfort. Hallelujah. Those that are in mourning right now, spiritually as well as naturally. Hallelujah. Even if we might have been mourning over our loved ones today. Hallelujah. I speak comfort right now. Lord in the name of Jesus Father God Lord Jesus I continue on Lord let them look unto the author and finisher of your faith hallelujah Lord Jesus we thank you Lord Jesus for this word hallelujah we thank you Lord Jesus that we shall be comforted today hallelujah and if you don't know the comforter of what we're talking about today now is the acceptable time to get it right with God because no man knows the day nor the hour when the son of man is coming I'm pleading with you to get it right I had a friend of mine I used to say please get it right please when I got saved I witnessed to a friend and I was so excited about how God had delivered me and brought me up and out and I was trying to tell my friend I said please be saved please get it right yeah yeah need I'll get it right later yeah yeah right 
he died before he got an opportunity to get it right. So therefore, we don't know the day nor the hour when the Son of Man is coming in our lives today, but we must get it right today because today is the acceptable time of the Lord. According to Romans 10 and 10, with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. In Romans 10 and 13, it says, but for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. When you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. Say this prayer with me. Hallelujah. Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn my sin and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of my life. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit to fill me and take full control of my life and let me become the person that you have birthed me to become. Thank you, Father, for loving me in Jesus' name. And if you said that simple prayer, all heaven is rejoicing. Pastor Brian and myself, we are rejoicing with you. And we bless God for you. Taking the greatest step right now is to dedicate your life to the Lord. Now the second step is ask God to lead and guide you to the right church where he wants you to be, where you could grow in the word of God. And get active in Bible study. For in Bible study, it's the only way that you are going to be strengthened through the Word of God is through Bible study. This is where you grow. This is where you ask questions and get the Word of God. So we're taught the Word of God. And hallelujah, we thank God for you. And if you want to see it into this ministry, please visit our webpage at www.brianhewitt.com. Give us a testimony of if you turn your life over to Christ, if you need a prayer request, or if you need a Bible, please fill out the, the email information and we will get back with you. And may God bless you and keep you. We thank you once again for tuning in to the Hewitt channel. My name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. Let's go before the Lord. Most gracious Father, we thank you and praise you for the word of God today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that the word of God had went forth in power today. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our comforter. You are our comfort, Lord Jesus, that you wrap your arms around us and rock us, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you wipe away every tear. Father God, I might have been weeping today, but the Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I decree morning now, Lord Jesus. I decree our joy is made full. Father God, for truly the joy of the Lord is our strength today. And Father God, we're walking in joy today. Father God, we're walking in love today. Father God, I choose to love everyone that has wronged me, that has that has broke my heart, that has abandoned me. Father God, for truly you're a God of love, and because you're a God of love, we are children of love. Father God, we're walking in forgiveness today. We forgive everyone that hurt us, everyone that broke our heart, everyone that abandoned us, stabbed us in the back, talked about us. Father God, for truly your word said, if we do not forgive our brothers and sisters, which are which is on earth, our heavenly Father will not forgive us. And Father God, we're walking in forgiveness today. And Lord Jesus, we thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus, for every blessing you have for us this day in the matchless name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you for tuning in. We always have a Holy Ghost good time next um, tomorrow uh, next time at three o'clock we're going to talk about the next beatitude hallelujah and we're going to go into we're covering the beatitudes today so our next one is blessed are they blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth we're talking about the meekness and that's going to be at our three o'clock time showing so please come back and tune back in and get ready for a holy ghost good time when my husband comes on at six o'clock pacific standard time six o'clock p.m and get ready because he's going to be filled hallelujah with the fire of the holy ghost and he's going to go forth and teach what the lord has given him what to say and we bless you with the love of the lord may god bless you and keep you until we meet again amen